Taika Waititi revealed some crazy clues about Thor Love and Thunder. On Instagram Live, the fan favorite director did a live streaming watch along for Thor Ragnarok, but given that this is Waititi, it quickly devolved into something much more bizarre. Now, he started revealing false concept art for the film, accidentally showing leaked script pages from Thor 4, and really just trolled the heck out of everyone watching. With that said, amidst all the jokes, he did drop a few bits of actual information. So let's use our bullcrap detector to separate the truth from trolling. Now he showed a piece of concept art of what new Asgard will look like in Thor Love and Thunder, and it seems pretty damn legit. The seaside settlement looks a bit more developed, and it seems only natural we'd return there so Queen Valkyrie can join in on all the adventure. He also showed concept art of Meek in a sexy lady robot body, and while it seems like this was a gag joke, it's hard to decide if we'd be happier if it was fake or real. Waititi then asked answered or dodged a number of fan questions, including whether Loki might appear in Love and Thunder. He just said, can't say. Who Christian Bale is playing? Waititi faked his mic cutting out while he was answering. If we'd see the Silver Surfer in the film, nah. Or whether we might see Beta Ray Bill in the sequel following an Easter egg nod to the character in Ragnarok. Now the Beta Ray Bill question came the closest to getting a straight answer. Watiti said, quote, Not sure how to answer that. I don't want to tease and I don't want to give anything away. It would be awesome to have him in the film, but I just don't know right now. It's up in the air. Now we'll take that as a maybe. Yeah. In a tease that could have no basis in reality or could be entirely accurate, because you know you never know with Waititi, the director revealed that Thor Love and Thunder, quote, makes Ragnarok seem really run-of-the-mill, a very safe film. There's a lot in it, a lot of set pieces. This new film feels like we asked a bunch of 10-year-olds what should be in the movie and just said yes to every single thing. The combination of things as well, and some of the stuff from the comics, Space Sharks. If you look up Space Sharks, you'll get a good idea of what this is. That's what Waititi said. Waititi was likely referring to the Star Sharks, sometimes referred to as Space Sharks. They were first created by Chris Claremont and Dave Cockrum for Uncanny X-Men, but also appeared in Jason Aaron's Thor comics. Waititi cited Aaron's work as a major influence on the direction of the new movie, which will see Jane Foster return and take on the mantle of Thor, as she did in Aaron's run. Aaron's Thor comics also introduce villains Gore the God Butcher and Dario Agar the Minotaur, and both characters have been rumored to be the possible villain in Love and Thunder. So while the bit about space sharks may seem like a joke, we think this was Waititi's way of acknowledging Aaron's comics. And for those who want to see more of Waititi's character Korg, it looks like we'll be getting plenty of them. Waititi said, quote, we do touch on Korg's culture, where he's from, the cultural specificities of Cronin's, if you will. If you look in the comics about Cronin's, there's some interesting things about where they come from and how they procreate. Yeah, because how they procreate, I don't know if anyone wants to see that. But you know what? If you ever wanted to see a rock monster get it on, well, this might be your chance. Yeah. During the stream, Waititi was joined by both Tessa Thompson and Mark Ruffalo, although they mostly just dodged all questions and focused on adding to the kookiness of the entire stream by telling knock-knock jokes and, and going off on rants. Again, I guess it's nice to see that, that they're humans too, like us, and you know, they, they seem to be going crazy cooped up in quarantine. Finally, Thor Love and Thunder was scheduled to start filming in Sydney, Australia this summer, but production has since been delayed by the coronavirus pandemic. Waititi confirmed that he's still working hard on the film and hopes to begin production as soon as they can, but noted, quote, I think this little break that we're taking is going to be good for all films, all scripts, all art. Thor Love and Thunder was initially scheduled for release on November 5th, 2021, but the recent release date changes for Marvel's Phase 4 have pushed it back to February 28th, 2022. So that stream was a lot to digest, but we did get a few bits of real information, at least we think, mainly space sharks. But hey, it's something, right? Let us know what your thoughts of Waititi's craziness 
are in the comment section because I thought his, I thought it was I thought it was good craziness. Thanks for watching. As always, guys, for more news from IGN now, check out the massive changes Disney made to the Phase Four schedule and our theory on who may be the real villain in Black Widow. And it's not who you think. Trust me on this one. And be sure to follow, subscribe to IGN, and wherever you like to watch.